Yeah, righty. Happy day. It's time, okay? It's about noon 30 right now on a Monday. So I have a slack moment. I need to make a few more calls this afternoon. I, I still need to call uh, the San Carlos. I probably should do that before I do this. Nah. We'll do this real quick to get that out of the way. I, I haven't, like I said, it's noon 30 and I haven't checked on the idiots yet. My, my first encounter with them is, is at my Hotmail box. Let's see, that's why I'm there. Nothing. Let's refresh the page, make sure nothing's come in. Nothing. I want a bunch of uh, Laramark rough, which is nice. About uh, 250 carats for 30 bucks. <laughs> It's like 10 cents a carrot. It's a crazy price. And it's nice stuff. It's real pretty. Um, I'll put some pictures of it up soon. Okay, that noise was the idiots in the Skype chat. Oh, they're just uh, talking crap about. They're they're making big 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 uh, they're making new uh, videos of me. They're ripping me off as much as they can. And trying now to. Our feature presentation. What's this shit? Okay, well there's Jerry Rapper. They 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 dump my uh, my solo over 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 Jerry Rafferty. <laughs> this is what I what I went into in the other video. It's like I really don't even like playing this kind of shit. I just play licks off each other. Um, <laughs> people have to you know you have to be either insane or getting paid to waste the kind of time these people waste hating on me. This has been going on since um, I mean, just talking all kinds of weird you know, they're, they're hitting on me about being some kind of pervert, and they're doing nothing but talking perverted shit all morning. Since 9, let's see, it's, this has been going on almost nonstop. Don't they have anything better to do at that hour of the morning than talk shit like this? This is ridiculous. Let's see where this started. I mean, it's like solid nonstop from uh, up until just a little while ago. Probably we all went out to lunch. <laughs> Nine thirty. Nope. Before nine thirty. Nine thirty was just when I was getting going good. These people don't have anything to do. <laughs> That's fifty years of sax playing, clown. I've played plenty of songs. Uh <laughs> what idiots. This started at eight thirty. Where the fuck this has been non fucking stop all morning. Oh here's this is this is here here's 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 clear as blurkin' sky a statement about me. I figured it out. Tom is outer sexed. Hear me out. He can't pass for a woman, has no feminine features, and generally fails at everything required of being a lady. He's also terrible at functioning like a man, taking charge or taking care of or care of himself, or being able to defend himself by getting blanked with guitars and sibling the cops every time his feet get hurt. Therefore, Tom has no sex. He's just a bitch. Wow. <laughs> Most people don't have any trouble uh, relating to me as a female person. <laughs> okay? You're just like an overgrown schoolyard bully. 
talking shit, blowing smoke out your ass <laughs> since 8 o'clock this morning. Wait, let's see, where did it start? Uh, this started before 8. This has been going on since 7. Oh my god. <laughs> this has been going on non stop, non fucking stop since 7 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I want to see Tom do this song. It would be dank as fuck. This is <laughs> News at Noon with <laughs> Harry Burns, Suzanne McMillan. Ron Gonzalez, weather, and the field reporter will stop at nothing to get her story. Hi, Suzanne. Yes, I caught up with the suspect. I have an exclusive interview with the 11-year-old hooligan. It all started when concerned citizens noticed a white 15-passenger van being driven by someone who wasn't able to see over the steering wheel. Where's the song? <laughs> I don't like doing songs without an accompaniment. It doesn't sound good to me, even if I hit all the notes right. Okay, that's enough of that stupid shit. I'm sure not going to talk to them this morning. <laughs> not there. No, that's it. That's it. Okay, yeah, so let them know. Hey, fuck you, you're idiots. Okay, let's see what the idiots have been saying this morning at Kiwi Forums. <laughs> I'm having trouble keeping me up on the front page. <laughs> Let's see how, how, how low on the front page I've, I've sunk. Oh, they got me up pretty high. Anonymous Floor uh, posted something in the last 15 minutes. Okay, that's nonsense. Let's see what else. No, I, I, I'm, uh, I, I think I'm 63, but emotionally I'm, I'm like more like uh, uh, somewhere in the 16 to 20 range. Oh, and here's, here's uh, Bojangles thinking I'm never going to log in there again. He's nuts. Um, and, 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 and Big Todd putting his misinterpretations of reality on there. The thing is, Tommy never fucked any kid. <laughs> Get off that. I'm just not going to even address that anymore. I did not fuck any kid. 
and, and what I did do was totally consensual. These people think I'm, 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 I've got senile dementia and I'm going to get put in lockdown. These are like, you know, 20 nothings that are going to end up in prison real soon, <laughs> just for the organized cyberbullying. Um, what is fucking idiots? <laughs> okay, enough of those idiots. Uh, let's see, let's see the grown-up idiots who are like funding all of this. What they have to say. <laughs> okay, that that ain't even worth repeating. None of that. Just fucking lies. <laughs> what else have we got here?
Let's see if it's here. I've already grabbed uh, my latest video. Let's see what, if they've said anything yet. No, it's just the bot grabbed it. You need to not smoke any tobacco inside, too. tired. I don't even want to look at any of this anymore. This is stupid. I'm getting tired of mis getting misgendered by trans misogynistic assholes. Well, I've had it for a while, I just I haven't used it. So it's selfie stick. And a tripod to put, or a set out microphone stand to put it on. The one where, uh oh, that's not on here. It's not coming off tonight. No. No. No, no. Okay. I'm calling. Oh, yeah. Hi, um, I'd like to know like what I need to do to get my name and gender marker changed on my uh, documents. 
I mean, this is from Amy. I'm told that I, I need to get a name change. I'm told that I just need to come into the county court, county clerk office, county court, and and can you tell me where to go, go and how much I need to pay and all that? The number you need to call is the civil division. They're in room 131A. Uh -huh. And their phone number is 724 3210. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. My keys are missing in action again. I don't know where they are. Wait. Do I have anything coming in there? No, that's it. Your call is being forwarded to a short tell voicemail system. Extension 43200 is not available. No messages may be taken for this mailbox. It is full. Thank you for calling. If you know the extension of the person you want to reach, you may dial it now. Thank you for calling. If you get the extension of the person you want to Oh, we didn't even get the right box. Let's try that again. Yes, please. I'd like to know what I need to do to get a name and gender marker change. Okay, a name change? Uh huh. Okay, we can file the paperwork here. It's going to cost you $247 to do that. They have courts from Monday to Friday. They want you to like 9 30 in the morning to file, and at 10 15, they'll take up in front of the judge. Will they consider a uh, form of club purse to waive the fee? You'll have to do a waiver of deferral. That takes two weeks to process. Okay, so I just need to. Have you got the forms online to do that? Yes. Where do I go, please? The website is www.ssnsamcsncharlie.pima.gov for self service forms. Now, uh, let's see here. I don't have it. There's a dot between the SC and the PIMA. It's SC dot PIMA. No, no. No, just SC PIMA. All right. You go to where it's family log, and you're going to download the waiver deferral with packet 12, okay? Uh, can't find it. Let's see if we can find it this way. It wants a dot. Yeah, I wanted a dot after the sure. SC. Oh, oh well, I, it's got to cut in and out. Oh. It's www.ssamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsamsams
family law, divorce, child support, and packet 12. Right. Oh, that's the that's the form of pauperers. Where's the name change form? Name change they go back to self-service uh, forms and he had civil. I'm going to have fun here. It's name change for adult. Wham. Okay. I'm going to have to explore that site. There's a few people I'd like to see. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I, uh, yeah. And so all the forms I need to see anybody are on there. And now if I file a form in Paul Purs, um, you know, I have a couple of complaints I need to file in addition to my uh, name change. If I file the one form, the one form, the waiver form, uh, will the one hold for all the other filings, or do I do need to do it each time no. I try to file? You're gonna have to do it each time. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Happy day. You're fine. <laughs> okay, that's easy enough, and hopefully they'll let me do it without money and fuck you. You know, my name is Tomas. It's Tommy Jane. Wasser Bird. Actually, I might, I might change it to Tudor. Tommy Jane Tudor. I think I'm going to change it legally to Tudor. Fuck you. Fuck you, Mom and Dad. Since you want to be the way you're being, fuck you. I'm going to change my whole name. Mike owes me $5,000 when I do it. Okay, well, how long has this been going on? Half an hour. That's more than enough. Um, that's more than they deserve. Oh, I need to call the Apaches. That's right. Let's see what we can find out there. Oh, yeah, the fucking, the fucking app break. Yeah. I don't know how much that's going to cost. I wonder if they'll do it. If they need to. My premises with me. Hi. Um, my name's Tommy Tudor. I was there a couple of weeks ago to um, check out things. Um, and I'd like to, you know, we want to join. And I'd like to know if I can join as an organization. Because, you know, like tomorrow we want to show up early and, and I want to have two other people with me. No, I, I don't know if you can join as an organization. Uh, I, I've heard that discussion in the past, and I don't think you'd have to speak with the president on well, that issue. Well, um, yeah, well, if we show up three of us tomorrow, what's it going to cost us to be able to use the machines for a few hours? What machines are we talking about? Um, I'm going to want to have the girls on, um, you know, polishing, finishing stone that I've, I've, I've had waiting for final polish. Okay. And are I'm you, gonna wanna be are you, be, are you a member? I'll be a member for sure. Uh -huh. This is what I wanna do is I've got a premises. Um, no. Okay. You know, how how do I, how do we deal with, with you know, I've got one that'll be with us all the time and she's ready uh -huh. to get a get a membership of her own. There's a third one that's just here for the weekend. Okay, you need to speak with the president about that. <laughs> Yeah, what I was what I was hoping was we could get like one for the organization no, 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 and then we speak with the yeah. How do I get hold of him? Okay, I'll give you his number. Go ahead. It's nine five four. 
8554. Uh-huh. His name is David Schulte. 8554, David Schulte. Correct. That's it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You're welcome. David, uh, this is Tommy Tudor calling from 520-241-2776. Um, I think we decided it's going to be cheaper and more cost-effective for us to join your club and use rent the machines than to try and buy them. Um, and I'm wanting to know, like, if you have any kind of arrangements for an organization. We want to come in tomorrow because I want the teaching of Mike. Um, I'm cutting some stuff that I just don't have the confidence of doing it uh, without any consultation from an expert. And then bring my helpers. I have two helpers that I want to bring and uh, show them how to use the polishing machines on some stones that I cut but haven't finished yet. Um, and we want to do that tomorrow. So please give me a call at 520-241-2776. Thank you very much. Happy day. If you're satisfied with the message, press 1. To listen, to leave the number from which you are calling, press pound. To leave a number... Phone number, 520-412-776. If the number is correct, press 1. To, to send your message with normal delivery, press 1. To send your message with urgent delivery, thank you. Your message has been sent. Okay, now we're going to try and get to the Apaches. Hello. Where's the fucking packet download? Hello. Just bookmark
let's turn this back on. We're done, cool train. Hello. Hold on a second, let me turn the music down. Come on, mouse. Just, uh, I got way too much stuff open right at the moment. There we go. So the mouse gets a little sticky. Uh oh. I sure did. Thank you for calling back so quickly. Um, my name is Tommy Tudor. Uh, my organization is called Real Things Artisans Cooperative. Uh, I'm a cutter. And I'm totally self taught hippie with primitive tooling. And I've just gotten to the point where I've got things that need to be cut that I don't feel like I have the expertise to do it without guidance on proper equipment. And I've got a huge backlog of stuff that needs to be finished because I got you know the man polishing everything because I only got a single wheel machine. So I'm finishing well, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think what you sent on me a message. Well, I wanted to I wanted to inquire about a membership for the organization, and then we just like rent time according to whoever showed up with me. Okay, is so what I had in mind. How do you how do you work then? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. So, so, pardon me? We won't even allow you to join the club. Really? Nope. Well, do you have any? I did. I was not. I was not aware of that. I was not aware of that. Um, so you're saying that nothing gets, that gets cut there can be sold? Well, we're, well, I understand where you're coming from, my man. We're an arts cooperative, and I was, you know, like I said, I'm totally self-taught. And I was, you know, uh, very much interested in the teaching aspect because there's a bunch of rough that I have that is just totally beyond my ability and my tools to cut. Right. Uh, no problem if you would like to come in as a hobbyist and come in and do it. But if you're going to bring in people from your organization or your company, Cut it and then resell it. No, we can't allow that. Well, um, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like I said, I have some items that I mean, I, 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 I can easily like re, re, uh, rethink what I had seen, what I'd wanted to do. I have a huge backlog of stuff I've already cut that needs to be finished that I was hoping to put the helpers on while Mike helped me cut the fancy rough that I don't have the skill or the tools to do properly with what I have in mind for tomorrow. So, so let me explain to you again. We're not going to let your helpers into the club. We're not a commercial organization. Those wheels we replace for our members. Well, like I said, we're, we're an arts cooperative. They aren't exactly helpers. They're other artists that are interested in learning the lapidary art. Like to join the club and learning, that's fine. Okay, okay, so no, I, I hear you loud. I, let me intervene, let me intervene, because what you're telling me, what you left me message, is two totally different things. So we're not going to let you join the club. Well, I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying, and I'm modifying where I'm coming from. 
you know, I'm. Well, I'm, I'm accepting. I'm accepting your conditions. I'm accepting your conditions, sir. That's what, I, what I'm doing. Uh, I need the expertise um, and the better equipment for my own work, um, which isn't full time. I'm actually disabled, and it's a hobby that I, I make some extra money with. I make that more extra money with my new music. Um, and like I said, we're an arts cooperative, and they aren't exactly helpers, but other artists that would like to learn lap theory are too. So if you were to uh, bring in uh, uh, some rock with us tomorrow, and, and uh, the third person isn't going to probably want to join because she's only here for just a day um, and lives out of town, but I know the other person is ready to join because he wants to learn. Um, and, and that's going to be all right with you if I just bring some of the some of the uh, rough that I need to slice up on better equipment and we go from there and see how we like each other. I'm okay with it. What, you, what you're now telling me is you just want to change the story of what you're doing rather than, you're still telling me you're already selling. You're still a, a company, you're a, you're a commercial operation. Well, that's so, true. That's um, that's true. And, and I obviously don't have uh, the access to do the kind of production in there that I had envisioned. But I definitely need the uh, expertise of somebody to help me cut this high-end, high-end bra. I don't have the tools or the expertise to do it. And I have no problem, again, teaching you how to do it for the stuff for your own needs. But having me come in and cut high-end bra and go and resell as a commercial operation, I lose my bottom line. Well, all right. Well, how do you how do you how do you go get around uh, Mike selling rough in the in the in, in the place? Well, he sells it at cost. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Well, let's switch gears. Uh huh. Well, let's switch gears. No, I, I hear exactly where you're coming from, and I understand the 501 3C constraints. So I have to ask this. I mean, as far as me needing, you know, me and my partner meeting and wanting to learn, you're cool with that. You're cool if I bring some things. Yeah. But I need to do production somewhere. Can you recommend any place where I'm going to be able to get away with that? I mean, there are other places in town that have wet saws that have oil wet saws that won't cut you off for, for a price. And no, I, I need... I might know where those are. I can tell you where those are. You won't be able to do Okay, I, yeah. And, and yeah, no, we definitely, we definitely want to, you know, enroll in the club as far as benefiting from the educational aspects. I need to learn silversmithing and, you know, some fine... Uh, points of lapidary that I haven't picked up on my own, and 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 my partner wants to just start from scratch. Um, yeah, that's great. That's what our club is all about. That's what we would like to do, and we would welcome you to come in and join us and we'll teach you whatever we know. Cool, cool. But it's, and I didn't know it was a five hundred one three C. I totally understand that. I didn't realize it was a five hundred one three C until you said something. Okay. So I, I, I and and Mike Mike and I uh, had had an interesting conversation when when I showed up and if, if he he's he's the hot tip he's gonna know where somebody's got a machine that'll rent me time or do it for a reasonable price. But as far as cutting the stuff, I mean, no, no, I'm going to cut it for you. I don't. No, think I, I, I need I need. I. Uh huh. I mean, that machine if you want to do that. Right. So I that's, also remember is that myself and Kurt, I mean, I bought one, I have one at home. Right, right. And then people will do it long term, or people that are doing it commercially, they don't use our equipment at all in the club, they buy their own. And right. My, it, it, what I need is a proper cabbing machine with multiple wheels, is what I'm, what I'm sure. Um, and what I'm telling you is people are doing commercials, they are not charged. Buy their own. Bye bye. Uh, you guys got any for like under three hundred dollars? No. No. Cabin machine, cabin machine for the Diamond Pacific Genie, which is probably the least expensive thing that you can spend about two thousand two hundred dollars for the six wheels. 
and 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 what's what's a decent used one the lowest price can end up for a, a, a more the one, the one I've got my eye on was about sixteen hundred dollars by Baranca. That was a, a, a six-inch saw with uh, four wheels and a belt for like sixteen hundred bucks. This is the one I want. Okay, I, I don't know what brand it is. It's Baranca. It's, it's Baranca's. I saw him at a show a couple of years ago and was like, yes, that's the one I want. See, see the problem with the ones that have the saw attached to it is probably a big saw. It's a way attached saw, but that's even doubtful. You're not going to be able to tie them. Nor is it going to have the overheat for slicing the slabs for... Right, right. I know that. You want to do that. I mean, then you're going to be no, I know that, and I, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm dealing mainly in, in, in gems and minerals for, uh, you know, low-end natural material for serious collectors and energy workers. So I'm not even hardly handling anything that's bigger than fist size to begin with. So I don't really need the slab saw of my own, except to just like, hey, I need this snapped up, wait a minute, take it to somebody. Okay. Yeah, I hear you loud. I hear you loud and clear. We just, I just, you know, have to rethink my approach, and I'll talk to Mike about where to get this, where, where, where I'm going to be able to find a, a cabbing machine that I can afford, and uh, somebody with a slab saw that's going to not, you know, rate me <laughs> for doing it. Okay. Thanks for your time. I'm Tommy. Tom, uh, my stage name is Tommy Tudor. My legal name is Wasserberg. W A S S E R B E R G, and I'm going to be accompanied by two women in the morning. Uh, one is Ariana Sykes, who we intend to do. The third one's probably just going to watch. Um, the we'll both both of us will join. Myself and Ariana will join tomorrow. And the third one is just going to watch since we can't do what I thought we were going to do. Okay. And thanks for your time. Happy right, day. Oh, cool. Look forward to it. Happy day. Bye-bye. Well, that changes that. Hey, Kat, how you doing? Hi. I'm, I'm a little bit better. I'm at the dollar store and she's checking out, so I decided to go to the house. She's what? Checking out. Oh, Ari's at the checkout counter? Yeah. Well, there's just a little bit of a roadblock in uh, the thing, uh, the lapidary club tomorrow. Um, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, just a tiny little roadblock. Uh, we can't do any kind of commercial work in there. We can go, it's, an, it's a 5013C. So they didn't want to hear about us doing anything for resale. I, okay. you know, I explained to them uh, that, well, okay, um, we do need to learn. Um, you know, it's totally educational thing. So we can't, we're not even going to be able to get you on the machines unless you're willing to uh, get a get a membership tomorrow. Oh, wait, I have to get my own membership? Everybody does. It's uh, it's 5013C. They won't do a, a commercial organization at all. Don't even want to hear about it. That's kind of screwed up. Huh? That's screwed up. Well, no, it's, a five, it's, it's totally, they'll lose their 5013C status if people are selling shit that they make there. Oh, uh, so like you're supposed to actually be selling it. It's a, it's a, uh, well, I, I was thinking of going in there and like setting you guys to work on production stuff, and they said absolutely not. That doesn't happen there at all. It's strictly teaching. Hobby. Oh, Hobby. It's kind of pointless then for us to do anything, right? Do what? 
No, um, it's not. You know, we both want to learn. You know, there's, there's, the membership comes with all kinds of classes and stuff and access to the machines. And we both want to learn that stuff. I need to learn silversmithing, and I've never had any formal instruction in the lapidary. Uh, right. So Are it's worth it to me. And he yeah. said, he said that he had no problem with me bringing a bunch of the rough that I wanted to slice up. But not the cabs that I want to finish. Uh, okay, so uh, great, because then that's finishing stuff. Well, okay. you know, it was like, okay, you know, we can, you know, do, do, you know, I, I need, I need to help with some of the the fancier rough and how to cut it, and maybe, you know, maybe we'll bring, we'll bring, we'll bring the really good rough and the opals tomorrow, and that's it. Instead of trying to bring a, a whole lot of stuff, just to really. Uh, the really cool shit. The black jade needs to get sliced up on a righteous saw. Um, and uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a few, there's a few things with uh, druzy in them that I might be able to cut out with the righteous saw. Um, okay, well, that's cool and all. Yeah, so we'll just, you know, just, we just, and he said that Mike has the uh, uh, information about where. We might be able to find somebody we can do, we can do commercial finishing, but really, when it comes down to it, I need to buy a cabbing machine. Much more than I much more than I need to buy a saxophone, but I don't know if I can find one that I'm going to be able to afford with the money right, I just spend. Right, right. That's that's expensive. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go to Reed Park and sit and eat a little bit, have a snack, but then we can we're gonna go to Cafe Buffet and look at the, the things that I left behind, and I, we can stop by your place too. Right now. Oh, we're gonna in this order: go to Reed Park for a little bit, and then go to Cafe Passe and to your place. I see. Okay. I haven't had any of that, so I was kind of hungry myself. Oh, I got food. We just got all snacks. We can, yeah. I have a little bit of food. I, I have some okay. eggs and I, I dumpstered a little bit of bread. I'll make an egg sandwich. Okay, so I'll do it right. Because if we need to go dumpstering, we can do that. Well, too. we can do that later. You know, we can, I, I'd like to get out of the house a little bit. Uh, I have nothing like really making me want to be okay. here. I, and my head space is just not in the right place for um, focusing on the word processing work that I have to do. Right. This uh, might be a day for other, you know. Yeah, it's a day for get out, so yeah, out away from it. Um, you know, yeah. just, um, you know, mostly make a phone calls. Um, okay. I haven't gotten through the Apaches yet. I need to do that. Right. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. It seems like it's, it's not. Well, it's, it's, you got to get straight to the medicine man. There's just, you just to go straight to the medicine people, and, and that's the way it's done. And I don't want to go there cold, looking for somebody. Because yeah, that's, that's, right. that's how the rainbows got in trouble in the Black Hills, was just going and grabbing somebody and having them scout for them. Right, I don't, I don't want to do that either. I, I, it just feels like that, that, if we, that, that might just be too, too difficult for us focus on right now. Oh, yeah. Well, no, it isn't really. Um, because it, it'd just be a matter of going up there and camping for the weekend if we had the right place to go, round up the stuff we're going to take to them and go up there. Um, I not that much, you know, if, it's, if there's somebody to go to. Thinking about how to do it is going to be too much and it would be better for us to go and just have yard sale and flea market this weekend. A yard sale. Oh my God! Well, I definitely we need we need to get out there for sure. Uh, right, we can't really go to Ken Carlos and do the swap meet. We could we could do the swap meet Saturday and then go go out to San Carlos Sunday and Monday. I guess we could. I mean, that's an idea. We'll think about it. But swap meet Saturday, yeah, we should do. Yup, yup. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna try and call the San Carlos. See what okay, I can cool. see if I can connect. I'll see you guys when you get here. Okay. Rock and roll. Okay. Happy day. Uh, 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 
San Carlos. Okay. Hi, Shana, did you say? Shana. Shana? That's, yeah. that's the other for Craigie. Thank you. Um, my name is Tommy, and I'm calling from Tucson. And we're an arts cooperative. And we're going to have a cooperative. I'm a nice person of the nation of Israel. That's known as the mechanical name. And I've had a lot of. Uh, teaching from native uh, medicine people of various nations over the years and my associates and I have some things that we'd like to bring up to the RAS as a gift in terms of food and housewares, medical supplies, things like that. Um, in exchange for some teaching about the local medicines and possibly to even collect some fire agate from uh, Scotland. Uh, and I, you know, I, I called the cultural office a few weeks ago, and they said to call the uh, forestry because they handle the medicine, and the business office because they issue permits for the fire agate. And then I got went around in a circle. They're saying, "Nah, you got to find somebody from the, who's a member of the tribe to take anything off the land." Yeah. Um, which brings me back full circle to, well, my experience has been, well, you go straight to the medicine chief with a bag of tobacco and some blankets and ask your question. So my question of the secretary, this is how I found uh, Chief Krogog in Rosebud, was I went to the tribal office and asked for him, who, uh -huh. who do I want to contact? Um, let me transfer you to, the, to our service office, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. One moment, please. Good morning, Officer. Yes. Hi. My name's Tommy. I'm calling from Tucson. And uh -huh. I'm a hereditary medicine person from the nation of Israel, whose family's been here for a number of generations now. Uh, um, and I've had a lot of uh, teaching from many medicine men of various nations. And I've been living out here for a while. And uh, some friends of mine and I want to come out to the res and uh, learn about the local medicines from uh, your medicine people and possibly even uh, collect some, uh, wild craft some for our own use later. And uh, I'm a stone cutter and I'd like to be able to collect some uh, uh, fire, fire agate from Slaughter Mountain if that's possible. Okay, um, I can actually give you a cultural... Um, I went around in circles with them. Um, I, what I need is to know exactly, you know, when I went looking for uh, help uh, from uh, Leonard Kodog, or the Rosebud Lakota, um, I was directed to the tribal office and I asked for him and they told me exactly where to go find them. So what I'm doing now is calling you and asking you who is, who is the St. Carlos's 
medicine person who is uh, open to receiving uh, members, non-members of the tribe for teaching. Well, I'd like to come and visit him or her. I personally don't know any other medicine men. I know we do have several, and that's where the cultural center can direct you to. Okay, yeah, but we went around in the wrong circle. They told, they told me to go to the business office for the for the fire agate and to the uh, forestry service for the medicine. And then someone said, no, you have to have somebody who's a member to take anything off the land. Yeah. So we have to we have to make contact directly with a tribal member. Is what we wanted to do is you know come up there for Indigenous States People's Indigenous People's Day, with mm -hmm. with a bunch of gifts. So we've been collecting food and housewares, medical supplies, things like that that we wanted to bring up there. And and then just you know do a little medicine retreat with a medicine man, who, like you know take us on nature walks and stuff. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, our uh huh. Okay, yeah. what's their number? Um, it is 928 475 2894. And the director's name is Taro Gustino. Taro? Taro, yes. T E R R I L L. Oh, Taro. Yeah, like Taro Gustino. Taro. Okay. What was the last name again? Gatsion, that's G-O-S-E-Y-U-N. Gatsion. Gotcha. Carol Gatsion, thank you very much. Okay. Happy day. Bye-bye. the answer. Oh, somebody burns it again. out to lunch or something? Oh, it's been over an hour. <laughs> that should really bug the idiots. Uh, what's the word? Come on. Let's, let's check the number. Check your number and dial again. 928-475-2895. No answer. Not even a machine. Oh well. Enough of that for now. Let's, let's try the Chamber of Commerce. This? No. Thanks for the wildlife. No, there was a big no. We'll just try the other number later. Okay, we can't upload something that's still running, can we?
<laughs> I didn't want it. Life block. No, I wasn't affected by the equal tax breach. My. My, uh. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck the answer is to these people want from me. What is the most popular music genre? I think I had, I, I, oh yeah, I had to finish that. How the hell would it, we'll just post that. So we'll pass on that, pass on that, pass on that, <laughs> we're following that, pass on that, pass on that, you pass on that, clean songs, pass, 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 pass. We're following that. Pass that. Pass that. What the hell is GameStop? that all out. Goodbye. So what else do I need to do? Nothing. Make an egg sandwich and eat it. So I think on that note, thanks for watching. Happy day. Bye.